Hi Pisces, welcome to your tarot forecast for the month of December. This is Mary and this is Leah Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So this is for the month of December. We're going to look at um, what your situation is. We'll look at how your energy is, how you're feeling, what your advice is, and possible outcome. Clarified all the tarot and oracle cards. Now we may get love we may get career finances we may get something else with family friends that kind of energy so we're just going to take whatever comes out and uh hopefully it resonates for you all right so let's see what's going on with pisces for the month of december see what's going on with you i hope everybody's doing well happy fall happy december so this reading is good for whenever you see this um tell whenever i do consider all my readings timeless on my channel even though they are dated that's just for upload reasons so my viewers know which order they were uploaded in so if you would like to go back and watch past readings I would say definitely do that all right Pisces let's see what's going on with you for December and we'll just say at this time so we may get a sign element or planet here and if you don't resonate with whatever comes out here that is totally fine see what we have we have Sagittarius so some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius and that fell on the floor so that was meant to come out if you're not dealing with Sag maybe you have it in your chart or know somebody that has it in their chart could be a significant other friend family co-worker could be anybody so and if you're not dealing like I said with a Sag that is totally fine okay so let's get an opening message for you Opening message for you, Pisces. Let's see what spirit wants you to know for the month of December. What is the opening message for Pisces? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. And we have an opening message for Pisces. So we have work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. And... Actually, we are in Scorpio season now, and it's actually going to end in a few days. So, you know, you could have Scorpio in your chart somewhere, if you know your chart at all. So, whatever your fears are at this time, whatever they may be or be about, Spirit wants you to know that you can work through them. And you probably need to conquer those fears. All right, maybe there's a Scorpio around you that can help you friend, family, co-worker, uh, somebody of like wise guidance or something like that. All right, so let's get another one for your energy at this time. What is Pisces energy at this time? So we have the answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. So now we have Gemini, Scorpio, so I don't know if that's significant to anybody. Don't get too confused with all the signs. Um, so Gemini, though, I mean, is not until June, but that doesn't mean anything. And I'm not an expert, like, astrologist or with the moon or anything like that. So I'm not sure when, uh, besides Gemini season, like, the next full moon is in Gemini, besides Gemini season. So you may want to look that up. Um, but this is just the message here that whatever answers you're, uh, you are seeking to find, uh, will be coming soon and maybe you have a fear about this whatever you're waiting on what, whatever answer you're waiting for maybe you have some fears about it for some reason so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here we have prosperity lies ahead new moon in Taurus so so we have a lot of different signs here uh, again prosperity lies ahead so whatever you're going through whatever fears you have whatever answers you're waiting on Spirit wants you to know that ahead, I mean, it may not be next month. It could be next year. We're almost into next year that things will get better. There will be growth, abundance, and prosperity of some kind. It could be financially. It just could be in your life in general overall. So let's see. So we have new moon, full moon, new moon. So we have two new moons and a full moon here. So... Uh, and when you work with the new moon, you set your intentions of what you want to bring into your life, how you want to change your life. It's all about positive energy. And then with the full moon, you uh, release things no longer serving you. So 
You can also Google how to do moon work with the new moon and the full moon. Okay, so let's clarify here. What's going on with Pisces at this time? What are the answers they're trying to see? What is going on with them at this time? Feeling those two. So we have the Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords. So the Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords together, you know, might have been heartbreak here. Uh, we have air and fire here. So you might have recently went through some sort of heartbreak or something that was very painful. And, you know, being like that wounded warrior, you know, with the Nine of Wands energy, this is telling you to keep fighting on. Um, as hurt as you may be, as hard as it may be, as fearful as you may be, as we have, you know, work through your fears here. And that is the Nine of Wands energy as, you know, you keep persevering on, you keep working on, you keep trying to get through it, you keep fighting and fighting on, fighting through the heartache I'm feeling here. Fighting through the heartache that you can overcome that. And some sort of answers will be coming. Whatever you're seeking on, whatever answers, they will be coming. Because things will get better. You have prosperity lies ahead here. So if you're feeling like things are really bad right now, you don't see how things can get any better. Spirit wants you to know yes. You may not see it till Taurus season next year. So which I believe is in May, end of April into May. So let's get a couple more for your current energy. So we got the Seven of Cups in Judgment. So, and now here's that Scorpio energy here. And the Seven of Cups, you know, you could be a little confused right now. You know, you're not seeing things clearly, like how can things get better? Um, trying to find answers to your solutions, what you need to do moving forward. Because um, we do have the new moon to the full moon, which is a complete cycle. So you may be going through a cycle and completing, or you just completed a cycle and you're starting a new cycle in life. I think I've been getting that a lot in your readings. You're having a lot of fear about that maybe, but you do have prosperity ahead of you. So you have to remain positive. So, you know, this judgment card here is about forgiveness, you know, needing to forgive things of the past, doing a life review, relationship review um, of any kind here. It can speak a resurrection, but I'm not really not really getting that here. Just, you know, forgiving those things of the past and um, making a final judgment call. And I feel like, with, you know, answers are will be coming and in reach. You know, whatever you're seeking to find here, you will get your answers. I think you're just a little bit confused right now. Whether that's on moving forward, whether that's on you don't know what to do and... You're a little confused because there's something I feel like because you see like the cycle here looks like a cycle there so definitely I feel like you've just been through a cycle could have been with the Sagittarius all right so let's get your actual situation let's see what's going on with you Pisces so we have the king of Pentacles wow we have the ace of cups and we have the page of swords so King of Pentacles is Earth energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love. Or this is just you being, you know, fully um, like having that self-love for yourself. You know, just filling your own cup, taking care of yourself. You know, King of Pentacles energy, King or Queen, doesn't matter. Can just be coming very stable and grounded. Um, again, with that prosperity lies ahead, you know, the king of pentacles here is prosperous. So you will have prosperity ahead here where you'll be more stable and grounded, secure. You know, you're uh, filling your cup here, taking care of you. I feel like you'll be taking care of you. Page of swords, though. Ear energy here. Is open, honest, truthful communication. So maybe, you know... Some sort of communication here coming in. Uh, you could be watching somebody. I'm not getting that energy either. But, um, yeah, I feel like you really just need to be open and honest with yourself so you can fill your own cup and become stable and grounded here on your own two feet. Honest with yourself, honest with those around you, open, honest, 
truthful communication, I think will lead you in the right direction, will lead you um, in your new path, if you're heading in a new path. Right, let's get a couple more to clarify, because you've got the Ace of Cups right in the middle of your spread. I mean, this can speak of new love. Maybe you're moving towards a Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and having op very open, honest communication with this person. For some of you, that may be the case, where you've completed a cycle and you're waiting to start a new cycle, you know, making that decision here. So we'll see. All right, let's see a couple more here. So we have the Six of Cups and Strength. So now we have Leo and we have Water again, which is your energy. Water is your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this is having the inner strength from within. Uh, you may re be returning back home, spending more time with um, old friends and family, that kind of energy. And maybe they're helping you to get through a cycle here, you know, um, really giving you all that strength that you need. You know, the strength card is about having strength, courage, being brave, having that willpower and um, to press a fair on. And also tame the beast from within and having willpower and endurance. So you may have old family and friends that are helping you at this time, helping you to get stable and grounded on your own as you fill your own cup, take care of you, loving yourself for a change and being honest with just totally being honest with yourself and having a clear mind and having that open honest communication with those around you all right so let's get um some advice for you so if you're going through a cycle and you're starting new you could be returning back home you could be um You know, coming back together, old friends and family that are supporting you to help, you know, get you back on your feet so you can get stable again. Feeling nurtured, cared for, and loved again. Having that compassionate energy. Like I said, take care of you. Filling your own cup. Having that self-worth, value, and love for yourself. And being really honest with yourself as you do this life review with this uh, judgment energy here. Okay, or it could it be someone that you were with for a very, very long time? So now we have the Queen of Wands energy, which is that Sagittarius, uh, Leo Sagittarius. So this is your advice. So let's get one more. We got the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so you could, Tens are about endings. Very burdensome ending here. So there was a completion and ending of a cycle here. Could have been with this fire sign. Male, female, doesn't matter. So yeah, your advice is if you're ending things or maybe if you're confused, you know, should I do this? Should I not do this? Should I not end it? <laughs> your advice is to end end this um, energy with this fire sign. And I hate to say that, but this is what the cards are telling me. Um, so let's get a couple more. Clar that you do have the strength to do this. Even if you've been with this person, the Six of Cups energy, a very long time. That can speak of soulmates, but doesn't necessarily soulmates don't necessarily have to be a lover. They can be a friend, a family member, um, you know, so. All right, so let's get a few more here. Hmm. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I didn't even know we had I had reversals in here. So the Eight of Pentacles is working on things and putting in the dedicated effort. So in reverse here, yeah, not working on it. Yeah, not working on we're not working on this situation anymore. If it is with the fire sign, it could be a lover. It could be a spouse. It could be a friend, a family member here that you feel like it's just burdensome. And I just cannot put in the effort anymore with the eight of pentacles in reverse. So that is your advice. So let's get one more. Wow. The ten of swords, another ending here, two cards of ending. This is again is painful, hurtful ending. So yeah, you're so yeah, so definitely here some of you with a fire sign or somebody with heavy fire in their chart. Yeah, not to put in the work anymore and maybe in your best interest just to end this. I feel like it's just not working anymore. Wow. So yeah, actually completing a cycle here definitely with two tens here. 
All right, so let's get your possible outcome. Possible outcome here, Pisces. The High Priestess, so that's your energy, Cancer or Pisces. So this is you listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. Um, you know, the High Priestess sometimes doesn't say much. She keeps all her secrets to herself. This could be about secrets. That's your outcome, though. So let's get a couple more to clarify that. I'm just getting to that you're really going to listen to your gut and your intuition. And you see like this owl flying away. So, yeah, you might just listen to your intuition and say, yeah, this is the best thing. And if you're wondering if this is the best thing or if you're doing this now and you're wondering, is this the best thing? Just really, really listen to your inner now. Yeah, the chariot forward, positive movement forward with balance, um, success, victory, you know, just a lot of drive and ambition moving forward, taking positive action, very fast action forward. Yeah, so you're going to. I feel like you will listen to your gut, your intuition, and know the best thing for me to do here with the chariot energy is just to move on in a better direction. All right, so let's get one more. The Hierophant. Yeah, so this definitely could be a marriage here that we're talking about. Uh, this does speak of commitment, marriage, doing what's moral, just and right, uh, values, structure, that kind of energy. It could be somebody of wise counsel. Or somebody who's very um, like a teacher or something like that. But I do feel like this this possibly is the ending of a marriage. And you're wondering, is this the right thing? And Spirit wants you to know, yes, it's for your own betterment. You need to conquer these fears and move forward. Because you have a lot of prosperity that lies ahead for you. And I think it will come in quick, quickly starting at like springtime next year. So you need to work all through these fears that you may have through this process. If you, This could be past, present, or future energy also, so I just want to let you know that. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the Page of Pentacles. So, so this is, um, you could be going back to school. You could be learning something new. Um, this could be an offer, a very stable, grounded offer coming in. Again, with the Earth energy over here. So some of you could be getting an offer from an Earth sign. Uh, any kind of offer, it could be work, it could be just somebody wanting to really help you to get you back on your feet. It could be romantic, it could be an engagement, it could be anything here. The star, so yeah, you will heal. Uh, Aquarius energy here, you will heal. Whatever you're going through is divinely guided, even though it doesn't seem like it. It's probably meant for you to learn lessons that you need to learn. And um, you will heal and move on divinely guide if you all your wishes and dreams will come true moving forward seven of wands so you know being a little defensive and on guard maybe um so it could be with this person and that's why it's not working you know maybe it's a lot of like fighting here five of pentacles energy so you could have monetary worry that could be the fears there monetary worry or this is the energy of just you know abandonment left out in the cold you or your person or a situation Queen of Cups, so there's your energy. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So again, I feel like taking care of you, knowing your self-value and worth and loving yourself, filling your own cup and just doing you, taking care of you. You know, and we got another five under here, which is about sadness, loss, loneliness. But, you know, things will go in a better direction here with the Wheel of Fortune, and that is Sagittarius energy again. So... Things going in a better direction, positive movement forward, fate, destiny, divine timing, good luck coming, the world. And I did say world is all about closure of cycles, new cycles starting, earth energy here. So starting a new cycle, divinely guided, you know, past this hurt and sorrow that you've been through, knowing yourself value and worth and loving yourself, taking care of you, you know, there was... Or could be monetary lack of people abandoned, left out in the cold. Maybe you felt that way. Or this is you leaving this person in this energy. Because there's just too, many, too much bickering, fighting, defensive energy. But healing here. Uh, divinely guided things coming in for you. Wishes and dreams coming true. And here's some sort of uh, communication. Very solid, stable communication. All offers coming into you. So it's all good energy. 
just need to work through your fears here. Okay, Pisces, I'm going to pull a couple more oracles here, but I do ask if you like how I read, to please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. I do a general tarot forecast. I do a love connection reading, a singles reading, who's coming towards you, and messages from spirit, what you need to know right now from spirit. So if you are interested in all that, please do subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. And you can check the description box below. Tons of stuff down there. How to book a personal reading and just lots and lots of stuff. And just a quick shout out to everybody who supported the channel. Thank you so much for uh, the ch helping me grow the channel and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. All right. So let's, well, that was fast. Yeah. Wow. So this just like fell out and I didn't even really begin to shuffle. Wow. Karmic completion. 10 endings completion. Yeah, I didn't want to say that. And every time I don't say something, spirit's like, I'm going to make you say it. And this is what falls out. I felt like this is just a karmic. And not all karmic situations are bad. They're usually there for you to um, learn your lessons and do that life and relationship review of how you can improve yourself, how you can improve the way you are in relationships and um, just learn those lessons. So yeah, karmic completion here, 10 ending. Wow. Okay, so let's see. Let's get up any more messages for Pisces. Pisces, let's see. Happy end. Wow, happy ending. <laughs> I can't make this up. I'm telling you, and I had said that. You will have wishes and dreams coming true in the future. Probably not till next year. Could be Taurus season and beyond, you know. Uh, you could meet somebody new. They could be an earth sign. Or, you know, you just be very stable and grounded um, moving forward. And you do have a happy ending here. And 93 is 12 is 3, which is about, you know, celebrating, people coming together, working together. It's a very social number. And the yellow here is all about, like, the solar plexus energy. It's like that sun energy. Happy, happy energy. So... There are any other messages for Pisces? Time out. Yeah, 10. Again, with the endings and completion. Time out. So, yeah, you may be separated from this person or, um, I don't know. <laughs> Did you put somebody in a time out? I don't know here. But, um, yeah, you could be separated right now from this person with this time out card. Or you need a time out to relax and kind of rejuvenate and take time for yourself, take care of yourself kind of energy. Now here we have pride, 10. So again, with the endings with 10. So somebody here has a lot of pride, could be you or your person, or this is telling you to be proud of who you are. You can overcome this and work through this and to be proud of that. And if somebody has pride issues here, um, that may be something that may need to be looked at here or maybe you know maybe your person was very prideful maybe egotistical kind of energy and don't be afraid to be to have pride but in a positive way not in a negative way yeah and, wow and under that we have healing 66 six healing energy balancing energy and i don't think i would uh, reduce 66 to 12 because 66 is a double number, so that's like a master number. So you may want to look up angel number 66. So, wow, Pisces, a lot of energy here. So, yep, there'll be healing. Uh, don't be afraid to be proud of yourself. You may need a time out to relax, rejuvenate, recuperate, to really think about things, listen to your gut, your intuition. You do have a happy ending in, a com in the future. I do see this could be a karmic completion, while it's a re whether it's a relationship, a job. A relationship with a family member, a close friend, could be anybody, but don't be afraid to end something. And maybe you have a fear of ending it, you know, like, oh, I can't do that. You know, spirits like you have to do what's best for you and it will lead you to better things coming in the future. Okay, Pisces, best of luck to you. I'm sending you many light, love and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.